Triceratops the three-horned warrior who defied T-Rex over 68 million years ago. When Earth was still ruled by giants, a colossal creature roamed the Cretaceous Plains. It wasn't a bloodthirsty predator or a solitary hunter, yet it was one of the most respected and feared animals of its age. Its name means three-horned face, and while it fed only on plants, it was armed like a tank of war. The legendary Triceratops picture this, a creature stretching up to 30 feet long, weighing over 24,000 pounds, with a head alone measuring more than six feet across. That head wasn't just big, it was a living shield, a massive bony frill, crowned with three horns, two enormous lances above its eyes, and a shorter dagger-like horn on its nose. This wasn't just a dinosaur, this was a knight in armor, a herbivore that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the most terrifying predator of all time, the Tyrannosaurus rex, the giant gardener. Despite its fierce look, the Triceratops was a plant teeter, a colossal gardener of the Cretaceous. Its beak, sharp and hooked like that of a parrot, could shear through palms and ferns with ease. Behind it, hundreds of teeth worked like a conveyor belt, grinding vegetation with industrial precision. A single Triceratops could devour hundreds of pounds of plants in a day, shaping the prehistoric landscape as it went. The gladiators of the Cretaceous but don't let the vegetarian diet fool you. Those horns weren't just for show. Males used them in dramatic duels, locking horns in clashes that shook the ground. Imagine two Triceratops facing off, snorting, scraping their claws on the earth, and then charging with the impact of speeding trains. Dust flying, horns colliding, and the winner claiming dominance over the herd. It was nothing less than a prehistoric tournament of champions. Living fortresses, Triceratops weren't loners, they lived in herds. Adults often formed a wall of horns and frills around their young, a moving fortress of bone and muscle. Predators would think twice before daring to attack. Because facing one Triceratops was risky, facing several at once. That was a suicide mission. The rivalry with T-Rex, and then there's the ultimate question. What happened when a T-Rex met a Triceratops? Fossils tell the tail Triceratops bones marked with T-Rex bite wounds and T-Rex bones pierced by Triceratops horns. These weren't one-sided battles, they were clashes of titans. The predator with the bone-crushing bite against the armored warrior with lances on its head. Sometimes the T-Rex feasted. But other times, the Triceratops turned the hunter into the hunted, a legacy that lives on. When the asteroid struck and ended the reign of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, the Triceratops vanished, but its legend survived. Today, it remains one of the most beloved dinosaurs on Earth. You'll find it in museums, movies, cartoons, and toys. It's the symbol of strength, defense, and resilience. Proof that you don't need to be a predator to be legendary, because the Triceratops wasn't just a dinosaur, it was a warrior, a protector, a knight of the prehistoric world. Here, on Beast Instinct, we celebrate these titans of the past. The Triceratops was more than a plantiter, was a living fortress, the rival of T-Rex, and the armored hero of the Cretaceous, the Triceratops, the three-horned warrior that turned defense into an art and carved its name into history forever.